So, it's solar panel mounting day. Now, as you can probably see, actually, I have some panels up already. I cheated a little bit. Yesterday, I put up six of the 15 panels. But it was raining. I couldn't get out here to record anything. I apologize. <laughs> but I'll show you what I did, and then I'll kind of take you through, because I still got nine more panels to mount. So, let's check it out. So I got the framework done. I got the boards that the panels attached to. Those were done. And then I attached the panels using a combination of lag screws. Here. And bolts here. And I got them stationed at four points on each panel. In addition, I also, after mounting these, I also added support boards under each of the wood, the wood mounts I put up. Just to give those panels, just to give the boards a little support for holding up the panels. So now I'll show you a little bit about the process about how I went about mounting them. Now I don't know if this is the best way to do it, I almost guarantee you it's not. <laughs> it's just the way I thought of to do it. I had a problem solve. It's just what I came up with. I'll show you what I did. I started out by just actually placing all six of the panels on there. That's what I'm about to do now. And that way I can just kind of arrange it um, as necessary. Uh, Wood is an organic material. It is, it's not, it bends, it shifts, it twists over time. That's why it's really not the best material for uh, mounting your panels, but it's just what I'm doing on a temporary basis. It should last for at least a couple of years. That's really all I need it for. So come along, I'll show you what I've been doing. And that's the reason why I don't have a tilt to this. I wanted to keep this flat for now. That way it'll make it easier for me to lay the panels on there, get it, uh, get it attached before, uh, before I actually put the tilt on there. All right, now that I got all six panels placed on this frame, I'm just gonna go over and just kind of make any kind of final adjustments as to where I'd like to see them. So I just took a couple minutes and just shifted things, some things around, but uh, I think it's looking pretty good. All right, now that I made those adjustments, it's time to mark on the boards where exactly I need to drill because it's not so easy as marking them out ahead of time and then putting the panels on because without the panels there for sure I don't really know exactly where those holes are going to line up. So I got to lay them out, mark them, then I know exactly where to drill. Or this is the way I've been doing it. Just because, just to, uh, just because it gets a little tight under here. Um, it's like I can't pull up a pen or a marker or anything like that to get uh, to where those holes are. In the board so what I've been doing is just using these little colored dots put one on my finger slip it through here the slip it through the hole on the panel right onto the board I know it's crazy but it's just how I've been doing it. <laughs> if anyone's got a better idea on that let me know well besides don't mount this thing on wood <laughs> We are alive, and the stars make love to the universe. 
And I'm like, and I'm like, wanna be yours, wanna be your hero. Like the empires of the world unite. We are alive. To make them say about it, Raman and Amore. What you see me doing besides making a fool out of myself on camera is now that after I place my little dots where they need to go, I just checked it with a little mirror just to see because sometimes when you put that in there, the dots don't line up perfectly. So I just want to see if I want to make any slight adjustments from that dot as to where I'm going to be drilling. Now that I've placed my dots, made my mark with the adjustments, now I'm going to take all these panels off again. I know, it sucks. All right, now that I got my boards marked, just doing some drilling. The places I'm putting the lag screws, the screws actually don't go in that far. So I'm just drilling in about an inch or so with, um, with one size drill bit. I'm going to move to a larger size, I'm going to have to drill all the way through the board with a larger size drill bit. So I'm back here in my hideaway underneath the panels. <laughs> so I've been fastening these <clears throat> with a combination of these lag screws and these lag bolts. The ones near the top and the bottom of the uh, of the frames, those will get a combination of the screws and the bolts. These ones going dead along along the center, those are all bolts. I need the lag screws because obviously with the um, with the two by fours attaching there, I can't get a bolt all the way through. Now that we got the bolts and the screws in place, I was tied it down with my little wrenches here. And that's how I pretty much attach them. And then I'm just gonna keep going at for the rest of the panels. After I attach this one, I just have six more to go. Easy peasy. Let's take a look when it's all done. All right, so today's the faithful day. We're gonna lower the panels. I got a little extra help today just because I'm not really quite sure of the weight I'll be facing. But Jessica's here helping me today. Peter's out here helping me. And we're just gonna lower it down. I'm gonna rest it on these pallets over here for right now until I get the support legs under there. I'm just gonna use these pallets to kind of gauge exactly what uh, the right angle I want it at. Uh, and then I could cut the support legs to fit that. Side you want. No, no, no. no. Is everything okay?
<laughs> Thanks for all the help, everyone. Wow, that was tough. <laughs> all right, so I'm done with the mounting for the most part. Um, I added some legs for extra stability because when I tilted the panels, uh, it was actually it was actually very light, very easy to tilt. But if I could tilt it real easy, then the wind's gonna move it real easy. I'll tell you that much. So I just added some legs. I sunk those into the ground for extra stability. And then it's possible I might add just a few more posts in the middle of these, in the middle of the mounts, just to support the middle a little bit more. But I think it's uh, looking pretty sturdy. I think it's ready to go. As you can tell, uh, we just had a uh, huge rainstorm. And so far the mounts held up really nicely. I'm very happy. That's weathered its first storm. I'm glad it didn't just tear apart. <laughs> but so far, so good. And now I think we're ready for the wiring. As you can see with this water filled trench over here, we've started trenching out for the wiring. And I think, uh, I think that's coming up real shortly. We're very excited about it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Help us out, help support our channel. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. And don't forget, for extra, for a little extra tidbits we like to throw out there, for a little extra information on what we're doing on a regular basis, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right, guys, thank you.